hello friends welcome to c sharp intermediate to advanced layer tutorial in this video we are going to learn about uh, panel auto size and how auto size mode works so as already told just like uh, the label control once you set auto size the panel will resize based on the content added to the panel so if there are uh, more number of controls that goes beyond this edge then panel will automatically grow so when controls are removed whether panel will shrink or not required so all these steps are decided by the uh, auto size and auto size modes all right now let us implement this particular section and once we implement uh, you will know how the panel will behave based on the auto size as well as auto size mode properties so we will implement this then we will learn the auto face behavior by adding and removing the controls so these two we already implemented in part 5 all right now let us proceed so this is where we left previously in part 5 we added and removed control dynamically in our panel now we will continue so if you see here uh, this is the section we are going to implement in this video so actually these uh, sections are associated to two properties first we will implement this uh, allow auto size for panel and when this uh, check mark is uh, checked we will uh, turn on the auto size uh, property so this auto size property is the panel's property it can accept two value true or false so when it is true the panel will resize based on the content it is holding so if it is false then a panel won't resize so when we implemented add or remove uh, labels in the previous video we saw that when we add um, n number of labels and when those label exceeds the panel content they are hidden behind that means the panel is not resized and some controls are not visible that is because the auto size we set it as false the default is true for learning purpose uh, during the form design itself we set auto size as false now we will implement uh, this uh, uh, checkbox so the event is checked changed so that means the event will get fired whenever the checkbox status get changed that means when the checkbox status goes from checked to unchecked or from unchecked to checked so during both of these time this event will fired and our handler get called <coughs> here if you see chk auto size that's the name of our checkbox we check whether it is in checkered state so if it is in checkered state we are accessing the auto size property of our panel so this is the name given to our panel so panel dot auto size equal to true so here we are setting it as true otherwise we are setting the auto size property to false once this auto size property is set to true then we can control how this uh, auto size should behave so 
now we depend on auto size mode property so the auto size mode supports two enumeration constant one is grow only and another one is grow and shrink so we will see the exact uh, constant when we go to the next slide okay now we will go ahead and implement these two radio buttons so we will uh, when auto size mode is set to true then um, we can set these properties so now we will implement grow only grow and shrink so once again we used checked changed and when rad grow only is in checked state then we use the auto size mode property and we set grow only constant from auto size mode so this one is actually the enumeration so we take a grow only constant and assign it to the auto size mode property of the panel so similarly when user placed a check mark here we set grow and shrink value to the auto size mode property so this constant we set here for auto size mode property there are two one is grow only and another one is grow and shrink so in grow only let us state that this is our uh, panel and when you add control one two three when fourth control goes beyond this panel the panel will get automatically resized so let's state that this is our uh, default uh, panel and if you add two more controls the panel will get resized so this is the grow only mode so uh, similarly if we remove this similarly if we remove these three uh, newly added label the panel will shrink first let us assume that we are removing these two the panel will shrink and it will be in this size after that if i remove one more it will shrink here now let us assume that we are removing so this is our default label reference label now let's assume that we are removing these two label also so what happens the panel will not shrink here so that's why we call this as a grow only so what is mean by that so this is our design time panel size or we can say that this design time size is linked to the size property so in grow only mode the panel will grow freely but when it is shrinking that means when you remove the content it will shrink but that shrink won't go beyond this size so during the form design we will set the size right we will set the width as well as height so we can call this as a design time height and width so with uh, grow only mode when you are shrinking by removing the content inside the panel it won't shrink beyond this design time limit so that's the grow only mode so here in grow and shrink mode the control will shrink that's the difference so it will freely grow as well as freely shrink so that's all here in the theory part let's go ahead and implement and then we will examine this behavior when we are testing this example after implementing these uh, uh, three control uh, events now it's a demo time so here is our code in part to five we introduced this variable and then we implemented add and remove uh, 
button clicks. That means we implemented these two button clicks and we saw how the button get, I mean the label get added to the panel as well as removed. Let's quickly examine that once again here. So this is what we experimented. If you see here, there are five label here. When I add sixth label, that will not get a displayed. Now we will use this auto size and see how the panel is resizing. So first we need to implement this checked changed uh, event. So I'm going to properties. Here checked changed is selected by default. Double -click. I'm double clicking here. So here, so when auto size check state is in checked state, we are setting the auto size property to true. Otherwise we are setting it as a false. Now let's provide handler for these two radio buttons, grow only and the other radio button is grow and shrink. For grow only, we are setting the auto size mode property to grow only. So we take uh, enumeration and from that enumeration, we are taking the constant grow only. Next, we will go to the not uh, checked changed. Okay, so checked changed. Here we will set the auto size mode property to grow and shrink constant from auto size mode. So that's all we are doing. Now we will study the behavior. So first we are turning on the allow auto size for a panel and the mode is grow only. Now let me keep adding the panel. Now when I click you can see the panel will get resized. So now I'm clicking once again and you can see the panel is resizing. Similarly, when I remove the label, it won't resize or it won't shrink beyond a certain limit and you can see that. So labels are removed, but the panel is not resized with the grow only mode. Now let us study the behavior of grow and shrink. So auto size mode, we will now turn it to grow and shrink by placing the radio option here. And you can see how the panel is resized to uh, fit the content. So now let me add and I will remove and you can see the panel will resize even beyond the default size that means the design time size so that's the difference between grow only and grow and shrink that's all here in this uh, video thank you for watching bye